I'm not sure how I should pronounce the model number of Casio's latest update to the PXS1000, their most popular and best stage piano. Should I call it the Casio PXS1100, PXS1100, or PXS1100? What do you guys prefer to call it? Let me know in the comment section below. Nonetheless, this much needed update to the world's slimmest and most compact 88 weighted keys digital piano with inbuilt speakers brings 10 new changes. In this video, I'm going to review the PXS1100 and evaluate these 10 improvements. As at the time of making this video, the PXS1100 is not yet available for sale. I will leave more information and the current price of this piano in the description below when it is available. The PXS1100 is an 88 key digital piano with a fully weighted graded hammer action and a customizable touch response using 6 velocity curves. The key surface has a matte finish and is lightly textured. I have sweaty fingertips and these key tops inspire confidence when I play fast phrases. To keep the weight of this piano down, these keys are less heavy than the competition and if you practice a lot, this helps to reduce finger fatigue tremendously. There are 18 voices in the Casio PXS1100 which are the staple of any gig. These patches, which I will endeavor to demonstrate as many as possible in this video, range from acoustic to electric pianos, various organs, strings, a vibraphone and an acoustic bass. The voices can be layered as well as split across the keyboard and the volume of each layer can also be independently adjusted. The Casio PXS1100 is an advanced piano keyboard and therefore string and damper resonance, key and damper noise can be freely configured to get the piano tone to sound exactly the way it pleases your ears. You also get simulations of various hall reverbs such as a British Stadium or a Berlin Hall. I guess Casio couldn't use the exact names of the venues in order not to infringe on any trademarks. While DSP or digital signal processing is applied to many of the voices, I often wish I had the option to either turn off or alter the depth of the DSP effect. With a 192 note polyphony, I never did encounter any note dropouts. For more detailed specifications, you can check out my links in the description. Casio PXS1100 also comes with a music library with 60 songs which you can enjoy listening to or you can play along with using the lesson mode and the included book with all the printed music. You can learn the pieces one hand at a time by turning on or off the right or left hand parts. You can also slow down the music to a tempo you can manage. The free Kodana Play for Piano app allows you to load an unlimited number of MIDI files for you to learn with. 
a new feature found on the PXS 1100, which I will elaborate later in this video, reduces the friction of using the Kodana app and other music learning apps significantly. You can find a list of my recommended music learning apps in the description below. Like its predecessor, the Casio PXS 1100 comes with two headphone jacks facing the player. There are two pedal inputs, one for the included single damper pedal, which is great for gigs, and another connector for the triple pedal accessory, supporting sustenuto and soft features for advanced pianists. There is no doubt that the PXS 1100 is a true gigging stage piano with its quarter inch stereo outputs, coupled with its light 11 kilograms weight. For those who don't have access to an electrical outlet, the PXS 1100 can run on six standard AA batteries, with a pair of 8 watt amplifiers producing a 16 watts output. The volume on the pair of 16 centimeter speakers is adequate for a living room. Even when the volume was pushed to the max, there wasn't any discernible distortion. This is the result of an improvement to the speaker design of the PXS 1100, which I will elaborate later on in this video. So what are the 10 improvements on the Casio PXS 1100? The predecessor had a previous logo located on the rear panel. This has been removed on the PXS 1100 for a cleaner and more professional look, making it more suitable for the stage. The font color of the buttons on the panel is now a more understated silver color rather than the previous garish, cringy blink go font. The Bluetooth icon is now a square icon. The Casio WU-BT10, quite a mouthful there, wireless Bluetooth adapter is now included free of charge with the PXS 1100 right out of the box. The 
string and damper resonance algorithm has been tweaked further for an even more natural sound. In addition to MIDI, the new USB port can now support audio recording with a flash drive. The USB port also now supports the new wireless Bluetooth MIDI adapter. This allows for a wire-free connection to Casio's Cordana app as well as other music learning apps on your smartphones and iPads. You can check out my list of recommended music learning apps in the description. The electric piano tone button has been removed. You can now select sounds using a single grand piano button on the panel for a cleaner and less cluttered look. With support for Casio's new wireless Bluetooth adapter, there is no longer a need for a 3.5mm auxiliary audio input jack and this has been removed. On its predecessor, you cannot turn on stretched tuning. For a few perfect pitch pianists suffering from OCD who need mathematically correct harmonics, not being able to turn off stretch tuning may be an issue. For the rest of us just like me, we should turn on stretch tuning to take care of the inharmonicity of the strings just like how traditional acoustic pianos are tuned. The structure and materials of the inbuilt speakers have been improved to provide a better response in the higher and lower frequencies. One feature I wish Casio had implemented in this update is tone memory. There are quite a number of parameters that can be tweaked to get the sound you want, but without a tone memory feature, you will have to redo all the settings for each sound every time. Don't forget to check out my recommended digital pianos, keyboards and music learning apps in the description below. Smash that like button if you found this video useful. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you in my next video.